Okay, everybody. Um, hello. My name is Shannon. This is my log number one of propagation operation propagation succulent. So here I have. I don't know what this succulent is called yet. I'm going to have to research the name. But here I have some leaves and some ends of the succulents and here I have some they look like overwatered ends and I'm going to see how those work out when I'm in propagation I have some stems here so I'm going to let them dry overnight let them callus over underneath the stems and on the leaves and then I'm going to put them in this peat moss here and see if they sprout roots. Okay, so here we have the parent plants. See how they're getting all long and gangly? I just took a couple pieces from each one. Well, actually from this one and from this one so I could test them out. I'm trying to see if I can cut them back and make them look nice again. Apparently they got long and gangly because they were searching for the sun. This one I think I overwatered a little and I think that's why the leaves are turning this color red and kind of wilting a little. The other ones, the other two are doing pretty nicely. I love how the leaves turn a little bit red on the tips and I bet if I made an arrangement of different succulents this would be a pretty colorful one to add to the collection. Okay so here's about um, half a week to a week later. I put the succulents in some pots and egg holders. And I found this little thing. I have no idea what it is, but I think it might be a succulent. No idea. I'm going to put a few more here in this peat moss. Here it's a mixture of peat moss, dirt, and calcium. Plain old dirt. And just peat moss. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's the update on the succulents that I've been propagating. So here we have these two that I put in little pots. This one is kind of in a watery soil. It's stayed watery ever since I put it in there. So we'll see how that goes. This one actually I found with roots on it. These ones are all leaves. These are stems. Okay, it's about two weeks later. I'll be putting the date if I can find it in the video. Here are the succulents. So my testers, I believe these two were red. And this succulent turns red when you water it too much. So they have turned green. I gave one of these guys that I had in this cup, it was right here, I gave it to a friend for her birthday. And all of these, this strange thing didn't make it. I don't know what it was, it didn't have any roots, and it didn't make it. And parts of these are a little brown, this guy didn't make it, the sticks I haven't grown it very much. I haven't checked their roots yet. Um, but here you can see this guy has roots, a little leaf, and some roots. It's not focusing very well. Oh, there we go. A little leaf and some roots for this guy. 
few other ones have some roots. Like that one's growing a little bit of roots. This one over here. A little bit of roots. My camera doesn't want to focus very well. I'm assuming the ones that have stopped being red, that have turned green, now have roots. This one most likely has roots. Okay everybody, here's an update um, on my succulents. A few of them have little leaves. Some didn't make it. The sticks have started growing little leaves. These are all getting taller. The single leaves are now growing new leaves. These are taller. Um, see this one right here is growing new leaves. But the old leaf is passing away. So I'm going to have to take that off soon. Here's the two I put in the separate container. I believe this one was a red one which means it had been overwatered, and it is now turned green. I believe this one was one and this one was one as well so now they're all green and healthy looking. Some of them like to pop up like this one right here. It set roots in the ground and then it just tilted upwards like this one and this one and that one. Here's some more of the leaves that came out of the sticks. This one didn't grow anything because I think it got knocked off down there for a few days, so it dried out. I don't think it's going to make any leaves. Okay, so that's my update on my succulents.